Nefash moved her brood into these ice valleys to fight the Protoss. It is unknown if she will join you willingly. This moon has pockets of intense cold, called flash freeze storms. One such storm is approaching. It will push temperatures down so fast that almost all thermal energy will be lost. The storm will pass quickly, but while it is here, your troops will be frozen in place. I can sense indigenous creatures nearby. Their matriarchs have powerful essence, strong enough to help us adapt to this cold. Hey guys, welcome and make sure you look at Connect There's Blast. No it's time. very, very useful. Let's get this over. It's with. basically sniping 300 HP whenever you want. Island. I have to find an Ursadon matriarch and get her essence. It's mine. This Zerg is feral. It is not under the control of any higher entity. This ends now. What is it so now? So you can do a bit of micro. Another feral roach. Something is very wrong. Yeah. Speak quickly. Let's get the flash freeze is near. I just have to find an Ursadon matriarch. By the way, this part is Push scripted. Ahead. Don't worry about it. The flash freeze has arrived. Your troops are frozen. These Ursadon, led by matriarch, strong essence. Once local essence assimilated, Swarm will resist Flash Freeze. Yes? Flash Freeze is passing. Stands in my way. Get going. Let's get this over with. Push ahead. There's not much... Essence assimilated. Swarm resistant to Flash Freeze. Excellent. And now I can sense Nefosh's hive cluster nearby. Injured roaches able to burrow, regain health. Get going. What is it? Nefasha's brood. The Protoss must have wiped them out. I'll awaken this hive cluster for the swarm. The Protoss sense the awakening. They are aware of our presence. The Queen of Blades. But what has happened to you? Frail and human. Protoss, I wondered when you'd show yourselves. We must inform Shakuras. They will send the Golden Armada. They will destroy you. Isha, tell me the Protoss are out of range of Shakuras. They are, my queen. However, the Protoss have silent spires that can amplify their psionic communication. Then we destroy those spires before the Protoss can activate them. Alright, I'm gonna start off by making a couple drones we and a queen when I can. Speak quickly. Hey, I like how they moved here. Additional matriarch essence nearby. If collected, Swarm can become more efficient in Flash Freeze. I do like an efficient Swarm. If I have a chance, I will hunt down some Matriarchs. By the way, this is not a timed mission, so take your sweet time. Have a good time, you know. Relax. Everything's okay. Uh, might want to put some Overlords into, like, scouting positions. Uh, there aren't a whole lot. Uh, but, and also, you know, Aerie will attack. Slow her down. Take the fight to her. You kind of scout around a little bit just How so you can see, get an idea on your map of everything that's around. And get some roaches. Protoss approaching the hive cluster. Swarm. Flash freeze approaching. The Protoss will be vulnerable until it passes. The Protoss are defenseless. Attack now. This is what makes this mission so damn easy, is like, it would have been a slight challenge maybe if they didn't have this mechanic which basically made everything, like, take no damage whatsoever. 
Like, that's it. We don't even have to worry anymore. Gonna make some more overlords. There's not much time. And so you can just take out this first base this here, I'm pretty sure. Come fight me. Let's get this over with. The flash breeze is ending. Going. And we have a nice little choke point here. Oh, I, I let one of my roaches die. I'm kind of sad about what? that. That's it. Chillax, guys. It's okay. We require more minerals. Probably should get some more minerals, but you know. Because they require like minerals. 75 minerals each to make. So take your sweet time. Take take this all out, you know. This is not timed, as I, as I said. It's very, very easy. Oh, well, so they were apparently under attack at some point. I figure I might as well kill all these buildings. Push ahead. There's not much time. So I'm just gonna make like the absolute minimum of roaches. Oh, whoops! Someone died. Damn it! I'm, tr I'm trying some ghost suit micro, but it's obviously not working. I'm, I'm just not ghost suit enough. I, I'm not really probably going to get anything past this first uh, hatchery here. Um, I, I'm just looking to get the bare minimum in roaches. And that's pretty much it. And also, I, I need some more drones because I'm, I'm actually running out of those. And that. Flash freeze storm has arrived. Press our advantage. Destroy the Protoss. Get going. And they're done. This world is mine. One down. Even if you destroy our spires, we will get word to Shakuras. More overlords. Uh, there is a place right up here with a couple of guys, Nothing so I'm gonna take this out way. real quick. Come fight me. This one's mine. I'm gonna use my my little side thing to take out these little scouts, and we took out this little base. This world is mine, Nabosh. I didn't have much hope of finding you alive at this point. The Protoss will pay many times over. But the Protoss are so fucking cool. Why would they pay? And here we have our first little. Uh, Side mission objective thing. I think I think one of my guys died, or maybe not. I don't know. I, I heard something die. Nothing stands in my way. You know, these guys are melee and they're slow as hell. And the Protoss, the Protoss are now attacking my base. Matriarch essence useful. Visibility during flash freeze increased. Even if you kill every Protoss on this planet, the Firstborn will destroy you. Just, uh, get these guys down. Where's, uh, oh, d did I just... Flash Rainstorm approaching soon. Out with it. Okay, go up there. Let's get everyone back to mining. They served as a distraction, that was all. Yes? The swarm never rests. And here's what we're doing what is next. It now? Okay, get ready for There's this. There's not much time. Nothing. A flash freeze storm has hit. The Protoss are defenseless. Attack now. Fuck. They're swarm coming they're coming hunters. after me. Get going. The question is, do we care? We're just gonna take out the size fire. I'm gonna use a little bit of my connect blast against it. Out with it. Now, and now we're gonna run away. One more left. It's no use, Kerrigan. Shakuras will destroy you. Flash freeze ending. We should retreat until the next storm hits. <laughs> you know, I know this is like bare minimum, but it's like this strategy of basically you run in there and kill everything. 
it works. It really does. Mind. And I've had to like burrow my roaches, like, uh, sorry, burrow my guys like several yes. times. Push right, ahead. We'll go over here and we'll burrow. Oh, wait, here we go. We got some more guys. All right. Let's see if there's any. Whoops. Uh, I don't know why I was making him do that, but okay. We require more minerals. You also get some resources around, so like the drones are really not that important, like to begin with. So I'm just like, whatever. This is kind of just how I roll. We require more minerals. Okay, looks like they're good. So let's push up. Oh no, never mind. Let's not, because they're right now pressing an attack. Now we can with. now we can get the hell out of here. Who asked? In a few moments there will be a flash freeze. More minerals. So we're gonna just get the last Ursodon here. Get going. Uh, as well as probably something over what here. Is it now? There's uh, two roaches that randomly appear here. The swarm never rests. The Protoss forces are now frozen. There's not much time. Oh, they have a little base here. We might as well go take this out. Rests. Nothing stands in my way. I mean, it's, it's in the way. We have to deal with it. You have my attention. Swarm hungers. We might as well just take out these cans or whatever. Push ahead. They might be annoying later. Who knows? All right, we're done. The swarm never rests. Let's sit over here and just get the last objective because we want the research. Flash freeze is passing. Come fight me. Nothing stands in my way. All right, they're gone. Get going. Matriarch essence assimilated. Swarm perfectly adapted to fight in flash freeze storms. They, they actually get plus 25% attack speed. And so our last attack will be our last one. We're, we're looking to now get that last one. And it's the same strategy. I'm just going to run in there. Uh oh. There's not much time. Our forces are under no, no. Attack. Just run. This so we're, we're just looking to kind of get over here. Oh, hey. You have my attention. Yeah, these guys are not gonna live. But that is a diversionary tactic. Nothing stands in my way. Yes. I, I don't know what There's makes this so time. brutal, you know? Push ahead. There you go. It's done. Flash freeze will be here soon. Okay, we need to we need to run the hell over here, get ready this to enter the base. This base no longer even matters to me. I really, as you can tell, I did not spend a whole lot of time investing into defenses because I'm just like, you know, it. it as much as this is a it. brutal walkthrough, I'm just going to show you the, the quickest way of doing this. Flash freeze. The swarm never rests. Okay, now we're just running right past. Um, the, the, the greatest obstacle here is the fact that your units will uh, obviously have trouble pathfinding all the way to the, the spire here. Nothing stands in my way. I, I'm I'm pretty sure this was done on purpose. There's not much time. Nothing stands in my way. The hive cluster is under attack. We don't really care. Because this mission is already over. Apparently it's gonna tutorial me. Because I, I seriously don't know what I'm doing apparently. And we win. The spires have fallen! Retreat! The Protoss expedition will be unable to contact Shakaris. Now they have to deal with us. Yeah, there we go. 16 minutes, and apparently I didn't do it fast enough. It probably would have been faster if I had either gone for them directly or something else. I don't know. Oh well. Simp way too easy of a mission because of those flash freezes. We captured a prisoner in the wastes and subdued her, my queen. She says she is a researcher. I didn't order you to take prisoners. Abathur requested it. He wants to dissect her. What's the point? He won't be able to use Protoss genetic material. He likes to try. Actually, K-1 
keep her alive for now. I might find a use for her. My queen, your chamber is now available. Within, you can alter your abilities. Yeah, roaches. All right, let's see the hatchery. Nefash's brood lives again within the swarm. When the Protoss struck, she fell back to prepared positions in the ice valleys. The Protoss had to hunt her down. She was intelligent, careful, and tenacious, but she made one mistake. She ran away. The hunt goes well, my queen. It's bloody. Those Protoss would kill you if they could. They are not Zerg. That means they are the enemy. Is it that simple? For Zerg, it is. Whatever my queen has lost, think what she has gained. Purity of essence. You are the will of the swarm. What are your people doing here? We study this moon to see if its rotation can be altered, its climate improved. Do you understand? We are only colonists, and you are killing us. Yes. And if I let you live, you'll call your golden armada and they will kill me. Kill thousands to save yourself. Is that how you justify this? I justify nothing. There is no moral high ground here. Your people have killed billions of Zerg. We are all covered in blood. There may be more on my hands than yours, but in the end, we are both killers. What is that sound? Failed experiments. Reverting to biomass. Slow process. At least put them out of their misery first. Wasted effort. Creatures will die soon. Pain irrelevant. When you say things like that, Abathur, I almost remember you. And I feel... anger. Anger product of adrenaline. Stress response. Imminent threat. No threat to you. No anger. I'll be the judge of that. She's angry because he got rid of the defilers in, in StarCraft 2. That's why I would fucking be angry. Okay, so we have three upgrades here. Uh, the first one is gains plus 8 dam damage versus light units to increase of 50%. Um, we also get plus 3 armor when the life is uh, below 50%. Uh, a good choice if you want them to tank. There's also the Tunnel Claws, which is the exact same thing as you get in uh, multiplayer. Uh, I would actually go for this, at least for the beginning couple of missions we have here, because there's a lot of light units. Uh, later on, it may not be, it's not going to be as useful because of the fact that we won't have light units. But my roaches were killing a lot of zealots and things like that, and that's what they're going to actually be doing. They're going to be in the front lines doing a lot of that kind of crap. Uh, and so that's why I kind of recommend that. We also get a new area, which is right here. It's uh, This is your personal chamber. From here, you can focus your neural pathways and alter your active abilities. As you grow in power, newer and stronger abilities will awaken. You can alter your active abilities here whenever you wish. Great! They explained it. I don't have to explain shit. So, uh, just to hover over all of them, uh, we, got, we have Connect Blast, or we have a choice between uh, Heroic Fortitude, which is like, she gets more life and more life regeneration. Now, I don't know if you noticed in the last mission, but this is invaluable, because it's, it's just like, it's a free kill every 10 seconds, you know? I kill a tank, I cripple a Thor, I cripple a carrier, I cripple a, I kill a, 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 a warp, a, a, a void ray, like, it doesn't, like, it's just, it's, this is what makes this campaign really easy, so, you know, uh, since this is kind of like a more walkthrough run, this all the time, there's no reason for you not to have this. Uh, what, what, you want fucking 200 life and life regeneration? Screw that! Why? Because she, she, she has infinite life, anyways. So, always have that on, or else you're a dumbass. Um, and the, the other two is the Crusher Grip, which is that stunning, uh, ability, uh, but I actually would do this instead. 
Uh, mostly because this is this is more useful all the time because it's passive. You use it more and it doesn't have an energy cost, so use this. Um, and other, other things we get is eventually we get uh, Zergling Reconstruction, uh, which they respawn Zerglings for free. Or uh, Overlords morph instantly and provide 50% more uh, supply. It's kind of like that supply drop thing from Wings of Liberty. Uh, we also get uh, uh, eventually a spawn Banelings. Uh, six free banelings with timed life or you can uh, get friendly zerg in an area gain 100 percent attack speed for 10 seconds and 200 maximum life which that's that's kind of cool i guess if you don't have a lot of units you can just like bring them all together so this is this is not bad uh, you can also morph in two drones at no additional cost and require less supply or uh, your units and structures gain increased life regeneration uh, and creep tumors spread farther and faster. I like this one, actually. Uh, Fury is like uh, Kerrigan's attack speed goes higher, or infesting uh, broodlings spawn if uh, a, uh, a unit is killed quickly. Uh, or there's Apocalypse, which is 300 damage to enemy units and 700 damage to structures in a very large area. I like this is my favorite one. And or there you can get the, get the Leviathan, which is actually isn't is pretty overrated to be honest. So that's my opinion on that. Uh, but that's all the uh, things we have to look at here, and so we'll see you later for the next mission.